Hey yo, this is a Tuesday toy photography tutorial and we are going to be talking about organizing figures. Not really, but my wife and I have been watching the home edit and it's pretty cool. I definitely want to get a ton of containers from the container store and just completely redo my office. Today's tutorial will be more of the photo setup and walkthrough, and I'm gonna try a different technique. I've never used it, or I might've used it like once or twice, and it's gonna be using long exposure. I know all of you love the, the numbers in the camera, so what this is gonna do is the shutter on your camera, when it opens, it's gonna stay open for longer. For subjects that are standing still or just not moving, you don't need as fast of a shutter speed. So that whole time that it's open, you're getting light into your image. So even if there's just a little bit of light, it's gonna look a lot brighter than it normally would the higher shutter speed. Like I said, I know y'all like the facts, but let's go set it up and see what we can do. I love this dial, but when I bought it, I didn't buy the option that came with the lights system. I've been wanting to put my own lights in it, but I never did. So I was gonna try it out for this, and I do like it a lot, but it is gonna be a little more work to put it in. So that will be for another time, and I'll probably rearrange this diode later too. Also for the backlight, just to add some color as well, I'm gonna put this orange LED. So now that I got the trooper set up, all I'm gonna do with this loom cube and the snoot attachment is kind of point where I want the light to be. So I have my shutter speed now at four seconds. So every time I click it, it's gonna be open for four seconds, letting the light come in. So I'm gonna move my light and pretty much paint where I want the light to be. That's why they call it light painting. This was a little trickier than I thought it would be, but what this did really help with was the tight spaces for this dio as well. And another thing in this final image is to kind of give it like a softer light kind of look. Like it's softer, but it's not. It is a cool technique and I definitely will be exploring it more, but hopefully it can spark some kind of idea for you to try out if you have a camera and you're able to slow that shutter speed. Till next time, go create and inspire, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.